Hope you're doing amazing. Hope you're out there making it happen. And smashing gold. It's another beautiful day here in sun. It's not sunny right now. <laughs> it's been raining for like three months straight. That's all summer. We haven't done a single car show, a single car video, but I'm all caught up with my homework. So I want to do a quick product review on this cool little jump starter that I bought at Walmart and it's only 45 bucks. I don't know if it's the best or how long it'll last. All the features that it has for 45 bucks, it, that's a pretty dang good deal. I got it because we're gonna work on the always abandoned and neglected BMW 335i. So I'm gonna do the product review. He's gonna do the work. Yep. He turned 14, starting high school, and got his braces off. Sin. Ooh, the Riz. Sin City the Riz was your baby. Mila is now how many years old? Six. I'll show him your toothers. <laughs> what grade are you going to? First grade. Nice, everyone's getting older except me, crazy. <laughs> but I'm not gonna get too personal since it's a product review and you're probably viewing this just so you can get the information on this little apparatus. If this is your first time on the channel, stick around for more content. I'm gonna bring back some Type R content, driving videos and stuff like that. And yes, this is the right hand drive Honda Integra Type R. Red Recaro seats, always so sexy. Here we have the Everstart 750 amp jump starter. Also has an air compressor and a USB charger. For what I need and under $50, this thing's freaking awesome. Of course, when you unbox it, it's gonna come with instructions. Get rid of them. You're watching the best at work. Exactly. First thing you're gonna do, once you take it out of the package, you're gonna come right here and charge this for 24 hours. As you see, I've done mine. When I first got it, it was at, I think halfway or something. First feature that is definitely so awesome right here. This little button right here, press it once. And it turns on the USB chargers. Has this cool little flashlight. If your battery's dead at night, that will help. The coolest feature that I like is of course the air compressor. It goes all the way from 120 PSI Hit this button to go down, all the way down to three PSI. I'm gonna use it on the BMW because I'm sure the tires are probably very low. I'm gonna show you what else you can use this for. We got nothing. This thing's been sitting on my driveway for like six months without moving. Look at this poor thing. It's been, oh my God, look out. Jeez, I don't deserve this car. And the bad thing is that it's a, <laughs> the bad thing is that it's such a good car, such a good drive. Matter of fact, we're gonna get it right and go drive after this. Okay guys, this is my tutorial from here. So, I'm gonna take off your little clamp here. Red goes to red, everybody knows that, right? Take off this right to there. That's where I'm gonna do it. And now, you see here, it shows that they're both connected. Good to go. We're gonna turn it on. I hear the BMW doing something. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. And now, the moment of truth. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, it's draining the machine. Well, $300 later, turns out it was just an old battery. Look at that. 
That thing's from 2019. It ran its course. I guess we didn't need the uh, little machine, but I do need it for the air compressor. So that's the last step. And look at that. I had a most Ooh. casualty. Dang it. So since the abandoned BMW has been sitting for a while, we're gonna go ahead and use the air compressor. When it's in, you hit the air button. Shows you how much air is in the tire. Now you're gonna go down. We're gonna stop at probably 35. I don't know if you guys know this, but just in case, on your driver door, I mean, I guess it depends what car you have, but right there. I'm not using these sizes, so I'm just gonna go with 35 because mine is closer to 225, 40. I don't have the 255 in the rear anymore. So that's how you know. In case you ever have to, uh, you know, put air in your tire, don't just go by what the tire says because that's just the max of the tire. Termination. <laughs> thing's actually pretty cool car's ready to go i actually didn't use the jump starter because it happened to be a bad battery but the air compressor thing was pretty cool still worth it let's go for a ride before we go for a ride you gotta hear this cold start you guys are about to hear a cold start on a fresh battery sounds good it's just a muffler delete it's been a long time since we've been in this car huh yeah actually it's been a long time since we did videos <laughs> tell me about it <laughs> you gonna go fast Mexico. That was a fun ride, huh? Yeah. I keep forgetting. It just sits here for months and no one uses it. Poor abandoned BMW. It's all dirty. We gotta clean it out. You're gonna help me clean? Maybe. <laughs> what car do you say you want when you grow up? A Tesla. What the? You fancy, huh? You gonna get a 99 Honda Civic, you know what no. I mean? No. <laughs> I don't wanna sleep in my car. <laughs> what the heck? You're crazy. 
hopefully you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching the jump starter i'd recommend it it was pretty good i actually used it the other day to jump the battery on the uh pathfinder i forgot to show that but i did use it on the pathfinder it works perfect don't forget to like comment subscribe see you on the next video peace out